Hello! In this video I would like to share with you how to crochet this beautiful, adorable bracelet for little girl from a leftover yarn. I used large bead as a lock. See, that's how it closes. They're qu quite big. See, that's how it closes. So this is the center of the bracelet and this is the lock. I made already uh, this kind of pink bracelet, bracelet with the two blue beads. One is as a lock because here is uh, the loop that closes on uh, that big blue bead and this one just the owner of, of uh, the bracelet asked me to put another bead so she wanted two uh, blue beads as a lock here yeah, in the lock spot here kind of symmetrical yes and my little one asked uh, for these two uh, clear beads at the lock but I don't have any more uh, these big beads so I'm using one what I need for that is of course hook beads uh, I'm using um, I'm using this bead needle bead needle but you can use a regular needle if your beads are large enough see the, if ear is large enough here I use just a regular needle see they easily passing the needle passes through it, beads easily he is a little bit smaller um, ear so I prefer to it passes yes but with the yarn might be a problem so and at the same time I wanted to show you that you can use both if you have a, that kind of uh, needle you can use it mm -hmm. and I have here pink yarn for this bracelet and two string the beads in correct order on the yarn if you have large beads like here on the log on both sides then you have to start and finish on the same bead but because I have only one so that um, should be the last on my uh, needle or on my yarn so I'm going to start so from here so I will start from here I will go all around and this will be my last one on the string or on the yarn this is just a knitting yarn and actually I think it is Karen Simply Soft by the way so first is this purple then will be pink again purple and so on I will string all the beads it's a very quick and very nice project to do with children, grandchildren. Yes, yeah, so they can, by the way, they can do this part. They can string the beads in any order they want, but make sure they go that way the opposite way so what they want to be first should be last basically on the string and that's the last one that's it I won't need this needle anymore so I'm going to take this out I will need this needle by the way to hide the ends at the end so now how I start Make sure you leave a long enough end so to make it easier to hide after bracelet will be done. So first let me show you again if you are a complete beginner. So hold the yarn like this between two uh, three fingers. So first and middle finger are holding the end and now the yarn I just twist it. See? and move your hand over here and pull the yarn through tighten it that's it first is done now move the bead to that spot pick the yarn and now we have to 
uh, chain one so basically we're chaining or crochet one now crochet two or chain two one two move the next bead and crochet one or chain one that's it and again crochet two one two again bring this bead over here and chain it and so on until all beads are done I will show a little bit more one two move another one also one two just remember that you need two crochets between the beads two crochets between the beads again that's with the bead crochet one crochet two move the bead again one two that's a central bead crochet and now one two exactly the same see I have leftover yarn that's what I'm using and crochet one two crochet one and now crochet two one two move the bead and crochet one now crochet two one two move the bead and crochet and so on so this is a central bead and last one with the bead now I have to make the loop like this for the closing bead I already know that it should be nine stitches one nine crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine so if you don't know how many stitches to make you you follow what I'm doing just do what I did slip stitch just like this and try it if size is good for the bead see it passes if it does not pass so you undo it undo the last one the slip stitch and make one or two more stitches or crochets right on the chain and test it again just to make sure that this closing bit easily passes but not too easy at the same time because you want it to be hold it right so at the beginning it should be very tight but it should pass it and then it stretches like here see it's nine stitches here too because it's the same bit I just know and see it passes nine stitches it might feel a little tight but it is not now I'm going back and connecting it into the loop of this chain into the first crochet of that loop and the slip stitch it again and now crochet one we have to do one more row and bracelet will be done and single crochet in between into the stitch between the beads pull the yarn and single crochet crochet one uh, not single crochet but yes a single crochet right crochet one or chain one and single crochet in between chain one and again 
in between uh, the beads. Crochet one and go all the way and crochet. Chain one in between again here. Chain one in between, chain one, and so on. And the same way until end of the bracelet. And I'm almost done. So in the first row, I was making a two crochets in between the beads and second row only one and in between I single crochet and now this is the last two beads see I did single crochet now I'm chain one and the last one goes just before the bead into the chain you see here mm -hmm. And now slip stitch, just like this, pull it through and cut this off. That's it. And pull it through and tighten it. That's it. Bracelet is ready. See? Now all I have to do is just hide the ends. I'll show you how I do it, but I'm sure each of you have your own way. But if you are a beginner, so what you have to do with a needle, quite sharp, I'm going to pull uh, the yarn between the chain stitches in one direction, just like this. And then I'm going always in opposite direction. Done. So this I can cut already. So, but I finish. I will finish the same way the other end. I will hide the same way another end. See. and return. Always make a return because it keeps the end well fixed. That's why I like using a needle. That's it. Now I can cut both ends off and bracelet will be ready. That's it. So here it is. Very cute bracelet for little girl. And closed. So here I have a three bracelets. It might look small, but it is not. This is a size of five years old girl. So I'll actually can measure it for you. But you do your own size, of course. And that is really easy to make. And you can make uh, these bracelets, can crochet them for any garment. And now, so this yellow bracelet is about 12 centimeters or four and a half inches. See how big it is? Just five years old girl easily can wear that. And here too, you see, because it stretches almost five inches and this one is a little bit smaller I think and that is about 13 inches and a plus bead of course so it adds uh, to the length now this is all that I wanted to share with you in this video 
hope you will make a lot of these beautiful uh, bracelets for your darling little ones. Please do not forget to subscribe because uh, my analytics shows that 96% of yours are not subscribed. So I would really appreciate your subscription and clicking on the bell. If you want uh, new projects, easy and not so easy, I need your com in your comments. Please describe what kind of projects you would like to see on my channel and I will make them. Uh, knitting, crochet, doesn't matter. So I will gladly uh, do that. Uh, but do not forget, please, to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and it will be very useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.